Ooh, good afternoon. Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent for the city of New York and a New York City resident. Reporting, calling, uh, I like to stay in my lane, you know, most of the time. Stay in your lane, Conti. What's my lane? My lane is agency corruption, I guess. I don't know. But uh, it's New York City and it's uh, 24 hours later from the big, uh, the big old guy mowing people down in the street. I think people learned a new word. <laughs> You'll learn a new word today. Uzbekistan. Say it, say it. Uzbekistan. <laughs> or, or Kakakistan. Or Tajikistan. And uh, Turkmenistan. So these are all the uh, countries south um, southern Russian countries Russian countries that broke off in 1991 or about that time and uh, came independent from Soviet Union and so that's where this guy's from this guy's from one of the and below that is uh, obviously Afghanistan and Pakistan the ones we know about but uh, today Uzbekistan guy crazy guy young kid 29 years old lives in Patterson New Jersey came in this is what I know I mean I just watched the, the news conference like everybody else and um, 2010 he came in here's the, th here's the reason why I wanted to do the video because he came in on what's called a diversity diversity visa diversity where we heard that I did 10 videos on diversity uh, so Anyway, Safulo Sa Saipov, that's his name. Safulo Saipov, 29 years old, passes in New Jersey, rents a flatbed truck in Patterson, New Jersey, which is just outside, maybe 20 minutes outside of Manhattan. And uh, apparently he comes down. They, don't, they haven't really said exactly his path, but he probably came down the, uh, the, uh, the highway over there. Uh, on the Jersey side, crossed over the George Washington Bridge, traveled south on the FDR, West Side Highway, sorry. He came down the west side and then um, he entered the bike lane on um, Houston Street, which is all the way down. Houston Street would technically be um, zero, right? It's, it's, it's block zero, actually, and everything below that is, isn't numbered anymore. So he, took the, so he took this truck, and he got on a bike lane, and he rammed, uh, rammed eight people, killed eight people, injured another 20, but um, five Argentinians, one German, two, two, uh, two Americans. Right. And um, I don't know what I wanted to say about it. I, I, I guess, you know, I guess... What I what I've seen is guys like uh, this guy. I, what I, when when something like this happens, we immediately try to figure out is it a is it a false flag? What's the reason? You know, the New York City Marathon is Sunday, Election Day is Tuesday. Is it a false flag? Or, you know, to my conspiracy, I'm not going to call theorists, but my conspiracy people that come on this line, uh, come on this channel from crowdsource the truth. Um, it doesn't look like that. I mean, you know, this is New York City. People have very uh, sharp bullshit detectors. And um, I don't know. I just watched, you know, I watched Andrew Cuomo. Andrew Cuomo go on TV and talk to the people, you know, and and de Blasio. And it, it doesn't, you know, and, and all the, the, the uh, ancillary uh, people, the NYPD people. Um, it would be hard to pull off because in Vegas it, it really does seem like a false flag. None of the none of the math added up. None of the, the facts added up to what actually seems to have happened. But this one seems to be more like the Boston Boston bomber. Um, I want to talk about um, you know I met I met because I live in the city. I did actually meet a bunch of uh, young people from this area uh, of Russia. They they're fluent Russian speaking. They're um, they, they're fluent in Arabic. Um, you know, they they like to uh, pray three, four, and five times a day. Break out a mat and 
drop down and pray and, and all this stuff. So I did meet them. They tend they tend to have been very quiet, shy, uh, introverted kind of characters. I, I will say that they do have a disdain for um, America, American life. That that is true. You know, they didn't seem to be. They they were very taken back when they find out the uh, freedoms young people in this country enjoy. Like you know. Mostly, they were they were fascinated by the uh, sexuality of 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 young Americans, and they they uh, they were the ones that I talked to were shocked that um, that there was this this degree of promiscuity amongst uh, American women at an, at an early age, which you know to to us in this country that's m- most of us are sexually active. At least people as good looking as I am are sexually active, uh, you know, in your teens, you know, or you at least, you know, you you think you are. But anyway, that was, that's, that's fascinating. That was fascinating to him. What's the modus operandi? You know, is this, you know, it's, it turns out that he was, um, he was a, you know, depressed kind of Arab kid from Uzbekistan, the unpronounceable place. Most of them come over and their English is terrible. But they're fluent in Russian and they're fluent in Arabic and they immediately make that connection um, in New York with uh, the Arab Arab community and uh, the, the Russian community to a lesser degree. But mostly they seem to permeate towards the, the Arab community. And so, um, so this kid came in in 2010 on a diversity um, visa and that, that's the tie-in, you know. For my uh, conspiracy friends, if you're looking for the tie-in, um, my guess is that they're going to try to tie in this new Facebook stuff where they say a uh, hundred, uh, like a million, I don't know, a million, I didn't even know what the number was, but like a million people were influenced on Facebook by, uh, by Russian hacks. And what they're going to find out is that a lot of that, a lot of that was outsourced. A lot of the uh, the trolls that, uh, especially as a Bernie Sanders supporter, that we experienced online were trolls from these from these regions. They're poor regions. It's it's kind of like um, customer service outsourcing their nonsense to um, to you know Malaysia. When you pick up the phone, you call Chase Bank and you're talking to Malaysia. You know that that sort of thing was very similar. So now they're going to try it. They'll probably... Because they, they're running scared. You know, the Democratic Party's running scared. And they'll tr- probably try a tie-in between, oh, look, Tajikistan and, and Uzbekistan and Kakakistan. Look, oh, it's Trump. He's working with the Russians. But meanwhile, it was the Clinton campaign all along, you know, hiring the trolls on Facebook to attack the Bernie supporters. But anyway, so what is diversity... Diversity visa. Now, I, I don't know because I haven't I haven't researched it, but it brings into the question the essence of the whole the whole issue, which is 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 loyalty to to, to the U.S. is um, is you know it. I'm now I got to stand up because now I'm getting to my punchline, right? Is is um, is loyalty? What is you know what it what it means to be. American, what it, what it means to to be loyal to the country and share the values of Americans, right? And who is Americans? He had a permanent visa of some sort, so does that make him an American? He still harbored all these this obvious hate um, for uh, for American people, right? So I just think it's it's important because. You know, and, and, and not to, not, I'll go back into my lane because I am, I am fighting a, a case of discrimination and, uh, bringing that up, being retaliated against and then stumbling on, you know, public corruption and bringing that to the forefront and not retreating, you know, one iota from any of it. And I, I tend to wonder, you know, and I stand, you know, I, I'm here right now and I'm, I'm fine with all of that. I, I don't have any regrets or any um, any uncertainty that I did the right thing. That that I saw corruption. I saw inequality. I saw um, 
retaliation and, and, and the use of coercion to silence people, um, you know, and I saw people being taken advantage of. I saw, you know, people take, being taken advantage of in the city being turned into ATM machines uh, with, with the tickets, and I spoke up. So I, I tend to wonder, you know, what, what I tend to wonder is what is, again, it brings up the question, what is diversity? What is, where do we draw the line on diversity and you know, affirmative action. I, I don't believe in affirmative action. I think it's, I think it creates these situations that we're in right now where affirmatively acting to actively try to diversify our, our people by bringing in people that we don't know anything about, really, you know. And it's not to say, of course, it's not to say, I know people will say, the liberals will say, oh, look, he's a, He's a, he's a racist and he's a, oh, look, he, he hates all people that are not born here. And that's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is that, what I'm saying is that there is a, there must be a certain degree of loyalty and a certain degree of American creed, as Obama said, that, that, that we have an American creed. And what is that American creed? So... More to be revealed. It's only 24 hours after the, this uh, guy uh, ran over all these people. And we have the marathon on Sunday and then election day on Tuesday. And, um, you know, we'll see what happens. I, it, doesn't, it doesn't appear to me to be a false flag, people outside of the city. It does appear to be, I think, I think the, the, the takeaway here is a, a poor Arab kid, you know, living in Patterson, New Jersey, and he falls victim to online, you know, radicalism, jihad, and he reads the manual, and he, you know, he follows it, and he, now he's a martyr, now he, you know, he stopped the city in its tracks for a minute, and uh, still alive, you know, if he was a, if he was a throwaway, if he was a patsy, or if he was a, a uh, false flag of some sort, I suspect that they would have killed him, you know, just like they did with the guy in Vegas, and, uh, you know, we'll OD'd him in the hospital, but he's still alive. So that means they want to, they're going to, they're going to, you know, they're going to hang this kid upside down until they, they find out exactly to the full extent of what he, what he believed. Have a good day.